Hello everybody and welcome to the G Kaiser Age in the Universal Century Year of 0093. And today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most deadly, powerful mobile suits that Shar Osnabal has ever piloted. And this is his Neo Zeon MSN04 Sazabi Real Grade from Bandai. Let's go ahead and get started with the final battle between Char and Amuro. Lucian G. Kaiser launching into the G. Kaiser Age. Alright, so before we get started in taking a look at the mobile suit itself, we're going to go ahead and get a little background on this mobile suit. So this mobile suit was created upon the orders of Shar Osnabal when he returned to take over Neo Zeon in the year of UC0093. He ordered his engineers to create a new mobile suit that would fit his new type powers and his piloting skills. The result, of course, is the MSN-04 Sazabi. This mobile suit is much larger than most other standard mobile suits, but because of its use with lightweight armor materials and the massive amount of thrusters all over the body, it is much more faster and maneuverable than most suits that would be of that size. The suit is armed with several weapons, including an abdomen-mounted scattering megaparticle cannon, a pair of beam sabers stored in the forearms, a shield with three missiles, and of course its iconic beam shot rifle. Also, the mobile suit is armed with a beam tomahawk that has adjustable beam links on it, and we'll go ahead and take a look at that as well. So, as you can see also on the back of the mobile suit, because Char is of course a new type and he can easily control weapons through a Saikamu system, this Sazabi is armed with six remote funnel units. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the real grade Sazabi and see how it measures up to the mobile suit that Char piloted in Char's counterattack. So this is the real grade Sazabi, made by Bandai, of course. It is one of their newest real grade line figures and probably one of the best real grade, definitely in my top five. Uh, the only other two that come close to it in quality that I currently own are the Unicorn, the Banshee, and of course this particular kit itself the real grade tall geese they're basically some of the best real grade kits that i've put together so far i have a ton of real grades that i'll definitely be going over in the future but these kits so far have been the best ones that i've had the best experience with in putting together so now let's go ahead and take a closer look at this big bad boy as you can see, I have done some panel lining and a few extra details here and there. Got the majority of the decals on. I'm not a huge fan of doing water slides, so I don't really mind doing decals on my kits. I have not top coated this guy yet, but I plan on it. It's just the weather has not been uh, very permitting to allow me to do a out top coating outside. But as you can see, there's a lot of really great detail on this kit. Probably one of the most fantastic kits that you will get your hands on real grade wise, especially if you love Char's mobile suits. And of course you get a gold foil decal for the emblem on his shield. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other features. So of course, because the Saza B is known for generating a lot of heat, it does have a feature where you can actually move some of the armor parts out and you can actually pull down and separate some of the parts to reveal venting like on the shoulder here. As you can see there, Get a nice venting action with the shoulder. 
and swing a little more light this way. Make it see a little bit better. But I really love that. Now one of the things that other people have warned me about when it comes to this kit is to be very careful with the silk shoulders on it. Because apparently the, some other people have had some issues with them. So for the posability, I'm going to go ahead and take the shield off because it can be a little ungainly. And let's go ahead and take a look at the shield while we've got it pulled off. So this is the shield. And of course, as you can see, it's got the beam tomahawk attached to it. So we're going to take a closer look at that. And the beam tomahawk just attaches to a little clip on the inside. And when you want to take it out, just simply slide it out like that. You can see the peg where you can peg it back in. I love the design of the shield. We'll put that to the side. And then of course you get the different beam effect parts. So you got the longer blade for the tomahawk. And then you've also got the shorter style one. So you can do the long or the short style, whichever one you prefer. I like the long ones myself, so you get two of each, the short and the long style. Just attach that in there. And then of course if you want, what you can do is you can take the missiles off. This is kind of a neat little feature. And you can attach, if you line it up right, <laughs> gotta make sure I line up the right pegs. There we go. And you can attach the beam tomahawk on the shield like that. But yep, I love this beam tomahawk and the shield. Very nice, excellent design. A lot of great detail on them, as you can see. All right, and let's go ahead and move on to the main figure itself. So we're gonna take a closer look at the beam shot rifle. It's basically a pump action shot rifle that fires intense, powerful bursts of beam energy that can easily down an enemy mobile suit regardless of the shield or whatever heavy armor or equipment it may be equipped with. As you can see, plenty of awesome detail on this. It looks fantastic, it fits and it holds really, really good in the hand without any issue. The clip is removable. And as you can see, they got all the nice details on the top with, of course, the piping and everything. And I just did a little line, panel lining on that. But there's just tons of features and details on this kit. You've got more expanding vents on the side skirts. As you can see, those pull out, push back in on the back skirt. Get the backpack out of the way a little bit. You have these parts that slide open too. So some fantastic detail just all over the place on this. And I love all the mechanical detail in there. The mechanical detail on the thruster parts of the backpack is great. You've got these thrusters on the legs. As you can see, a lot of great detail. Even on the feet, there is a lot of detail on those. These thrusters can come out. And then on the waist, you've got the scattering mega particle cannon. 
The reason why they call it a scattering mega particle cannon is because it fires in a very large wide dispersal cone so that way it can catch and destroy multiple enemy mobile suits on these very very flexible shoulders got more thrusters here you got a nice shoulder rotation with the arm Being very careful because these real grades are known to be a little delicate on the shoulders but this one is holding up fantastic and of course you got the double bend with the extending mechanics on the elbow which I very much appreciate and love the detail of that. And then you can, of course, reposition it. And it's just fantastic. And another thing I love, the joints on this are extremely tight. They are very tight, they are very solid. Nothing moves without me pushing on it unless I shake the figure like a crazy person. You've got a nice thigh rotation at the hip there. The feet have an incredible range and a nice toe bend both ways. This just, it it's incredible. The, detail the mechanics the posability on this figure is fantastic there is no expense spared on making this a fantastic real grade representation of Char's final mobile suit now I'm pretty sure if you handed him a model kit of this of his mobile suit in universe and he saw this kind of detail and elaborate quality put into it he would absolutely enjoy it if he had time between dropping colonies like a madman. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the funnel units on the back. So you just slide out this one piece and then you open up the funnel doors very carefully. And the very cool part is the funnels are not only removable and very well detailed, but they also pop open their little vents and you can push out the actual laser a little bit so that way it is in firing position and you can actually attach this to like a to Bandai Tomashi Nation Act 5 stand or any other kind of display stand through the pegs in the back so you can display them actually deployed around your Sazabi if you can afford to have that many plug-in ports. But it's still very cool and I absolutely love that they included all of this. So I'm close that back up. And of course you get six of these little guys. Lock that back into place. You got the propellant tanks on the back. And they stay pretty well in position too. I absolutely love that. It's a very well done design. Just everything about this mobile suit is well done. You can, of course, adjust the head. Now, of course, you can't look up too far or down too far with it because of the actual design. But one of the cool things that you can do with the head, if I can get the angle on it, you can actually pull up and lower that and you can actually see inside the head for the mono eye and cockpit and everything which is pretty cool put that back down put that in place 
But yep, this is a very solid real grade figure. If you were looking for a good real grade to start with, this might not be the best one. You definitely want to have at least one or two underneath. But if you want to have a solid one to have in your collection and you love Char's mobile suits or you'd like to do your own custom color version of this, this is definitely a great real grade to get. And I definitely recommend grabbing one. You can get it pretty much everywhere. Good USA Gundam Store has them in stock. Hobby Link Japan. Uh, Gundam Planet. Ami Ami. Wherever you like to shop, you'll definitely be able to find one of these real great size bees. You can even find them in Barnes and Nobles as of lately. Um, I ordered mine from Hobby Link Japan. And they, of course, you know, sent me this one pretty quickly. Pick that up. And then, of course, you can always pick it up from any of those places. And, of course, I just love everything about this. The detail, the posability, and everything. And then, of course, you have in the forearms here the beam sabers. Now, these aren't the actual beam sabers themselves. This is actually just a little plug-in that fits there the actual beam saber itself is a full handle that is its own separate item and it comes with of course a beam saber effect and you get two of these guys and of course the alternate hands for holding them so you get the alternate hand with the other the peg i love beam saber hands that have the pegs because it helps to hold the beam saber in place a lot easier so you just pull that off, throw that on, put that in, and boom. Beam saver. And just pop off the hand. And I also want to show you something interesting about the hands too before we wrap up. Now the normal real grade hands don't have this, but this one actually has a swing bar for the peg in. So you can get some really great flexibility from the hands to really pose things with. And on the rifle itself, the rifle has an adjustable grip. So you can really create some great angles. Bandai did a fantastic job with this kit. They really thought of everything to make this kit as poseable and as fun to have in your collection as anything else that you might love and enjoy from their model kit line. And there we go. And now he's ready. Take that beam saber. And let's go ahead and do the beam tomahawk too. And there we go. And now we got the beam saber and the beam tomahawk. Ready to show the Federation the power of Neo Zeon. And the power and possibility of new types. So, yep, definitely this is a great kit to grab. Um, you can find them at Hobby Link Japan. You can find them on other websites like Gundam Planet or USA Gundam Store. They still have them in stock. You can even find it at Barnes and Nobles in a few select locations. Now, I know my local one, I think, ran out just a little while ago on their copies of it. But definitely keep an eye out. If you love a great mobile suit build and a great kit, this real great size of beat is the best deal out there for the price. It's a fantastic kit. It looks great. It's poseable. It feels great. I enjoy actually handling it. Most of my other real grades, I'm afraid to handle because some of them feel so loose. They don't feel solid. They don't feel like something I can actually manipulate and have fun with. But this real grade Sazabi is just fantastic fun all around and definitely a joy. So definitely pick one up when you get a chance. 
Again, my name is Lucian G. Kaiser here in the G. Kaiser Age. If you have one of these kits or you've been thinking about getting it, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you love about your real grade Sazabi or any of the other real grades that you like. If there's a certain kit that you want me to review, let me know. As always, drop a like. Definitely favorite, subscribe, and share my videos with your friends so I can help grow my channel and get more reviews and things done for all you fans out there. And as always, check out my Facebook, my Twitch, my Twitter, and of course, definitely check out my Imager account to see some fantastic pictures of my collection here. But again, I want to thank you here for joining me here in the G. Kaiser age. This is Lucian G. Kaiser signing out until the next Zeon battle against the Federation.